Hi everyone, today we are going to show you how you can create and backtest indicator-based crypto trading strategies on the MT4 platform and then automate them on Binance using our FRZ Crypto Automator for MT4. Our Automator will simply copy your MT4 trades onto the corresponding crypto pair on the Binance platform. You can use any crypto pair available on your MT4 to trade the corresponding crypto pair on Binance. This works on both spot and futures trading. First you need to download a free demo of our Automator from the link given in the description. Then place the Automator EA file under your MT4's Experts folder and refresh the Experts. Then you see our Automator under the Experts list. Then go to MT4, Options, Expert Advisors and allow Automated Trading, DLL Imports, and Web Requests and add the given URLs to the allowed URLs. Then you need to have an API from Binance. For this you need to go to your Binance profile and select API Management and create an API with a secret key. Please give your API the trading rights on the spot and futures market. We will later need this API and secret to be entered under our automator settings. Now let's look at the type of primary entry indicators that you can use to automate your trading on MT4 and Binance. There are four types of entry indicators that you can use with our automator. The first type is the indicators generating arrows or similar signs such as thumbs, dots, etc. for buying and selling. The colors of buy and sell arrows or signs should be able to be changed from the indicator's colors tab under its settings. These color IDs are also called buffers. The second type is indicators with one line that change colors as per the up or down trend. This is also a type of buffer-based indicators where you can change the line colors under the indicator colors tab under settings. The third type is indicators with two lines where buy or sell is determined by the crossover. This is also a type of buffer-based indicators. The fourth type of indicators are those that use objects created by the indicator. This EA will work with almost any object that has a time parameter under properties and a common prefix for buy and sell in the object name with different colors for buy and sell objects. If you look at this indicator, you will notice that these red and blue triangles indicate buy and sell opportunities. But there are no color IDs that control the colors of these objects. If you check out the objects on the chart, you will notice that these signals are indicator created objects. In addition to these four types of primary entry indicators, you can use a secondary indicator to filter the signals of the primary indicator. Here is an example. In this case, we enter into trades only if the second indicator agrees with the primary indicator signal. So we buy only when we get a buy arrow plus we have buy signal from the second indicator. In addition to a secondary filtering indicator, you may also use an exit indicator. Also, there is a moving average filter and a choppy market filter to further filter your entry signals. Please refer to the user manual for more information on how to use them. Now let's look at the set files we have given. We have given four types of set files for most common trading strategies. These set files are not customized for your indicators, but they provide the background settings for each given trading style. Also set files use 0.01 lot size on MT4 and a Binance lot ratio of 0.1, which can be changed as necessary along with other settings. You can use these set files in backtesting as well. Set file 1 is a dollar cost averaging based trading method. This is also the default template. Under this method, new positions are added at each new signal generated by your indicator in the same direction. With each new position, take profit will be adjusted to reflect the average price considering all the open trades. Set file 2 is also a dollar cost averaging based trading method. Under this method, new positions are added at each stop loss level instead of closing the trades. With each new position, take profit will be adjusted to reflect the average price considering all the open trades. 
Set file 3 is a signal-to-signal -signal trading template with no take profit or stop loss. Trade is entered when a signal is given by your indicator. Once a trade is entered, it will only be closed by the next opposite signal and a new trade will be created in the new direction. So there will be an active trade all the time. However, in most cases, indicators are not profitable this way unless you have an indicator with very good accuracy. Set file 4 is for the most simple setup, where a trade is triggered whenever a signal is generated by your indicator, with dynamic stop loss, and take profit based on average true range. You should only use this method if your indicator has a good win rate. There will be only one trade per signal with take profit and stop loss. In most cases indicators are not profitable this way. Now let's see how we can back test strategies before deploying them on Binance. First you need to select a Forex broker that provides the crypto pairs that you wish to trade on Binance. Then, register a demo account at your selected broker on the same leverage that you get on Binance Futures. If you are trading the Binance spot market, then open the demo account with no leverage. Now let's do a back test on a simple indicator called Super Arrow Indicator. This indicator falls into the first type of indicators that we explained before. First let's identify the buffer numbers for buy and sell signals. Load the indicator and check out its color settings. You will notice that color ID 2 is for buy signal and color ID 3 is for sell signal. We will be using our set file 1 for our back testing which is based on dollar cost averaging on the indicator signals. Now load the first set file to the EA on the back testing module. Now you need to simply add the indicator's name under setting 7 and then add the buy and sell buffer numbers under setting 12 and 13 respectively, which we recognized before. Since we use a ratio to adjust the MT4 volume to Binance volume under setting 6, we need to adjust the testing balance to reflect this ratio on backtesting results on MT4. For example, if you have USDT 1000 on Binance and you intend to use a Binance lot ratio of 0.1 under setting 6, then divide 1000 by 0.1, which equals to 10,000. Thus, the testing balance has to be 10,000. This way you can ensure that your back testing results would be reflective of what you could expect on Binance when you connect to Binance. Always do proper back testing before deploying any strategy on Binance. Before running the back test, we can save the settings so that we can use them later on live trading. Also we will save a template in the same name as the EA name so that you will see the indicator while back testing. For now, we are back testing for a short period on the M15 chart for demonstration, but make sure you back test for at least a few years before you use the strategy on a real Binance account. Let's run the test. you will notice that we have achieved a profit. Now we are ready to connect the EA with Binance on live charts. Close the backtesting module. Then load the EA on the BTC USD M15 chart. Now you can simply load the settings, which we previously saved. Also we need to add the Binance API and secret key, which we noted down before. We will be copying our MT4 BTC USD trades to Binance Futures BTC USD chart. We need to map MT4 to Binance pairs under setting 5. However, you will notice that this is already mapped by default. It is done. Now whenever a trade is entered or closed on MT4 BTC USD chart, the same will be copied to Binance BTC USD Futures chart. Please note that we are using MT4 charts to enter Binance trades, there can be some price differences between the two. The differences can be significant if you use small time frames like 1 minute or 5 minute charts or use very tight take profit or stop loss levels. 
This ends our tutorial, and if you have any questions please comment below. Thank you for watching and see you around.